Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and recently Clash Royale just implemented this balance uh, to the game. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and recently Supercell just implemented this new balance change to the game. They changed a bunch of shit and they're shifting the meta. Everybody is scared out here. No one knows what's gonna happen, especially with the Wi-Fi uh, fucking up every two seconds. But, um, legit, uh, I know this update came out, well, the news for the update came out uh, two days ago, so I'm a bit late on this, but I sort of want to wait for the balance changes to actually come to the game, because you never know what's going to come through these doors, guys. Um, but legit, um, you never know how the balance changes will shift the meta and how it will change the game before it actually becomes live and actually comes to the game. So, now that the balance changes came, um, let's talk about these changes, but first let's get into some replays and then let's talk about these things. So, the first thing inside this balance change is the Royal GG is getting nerfed from the hit speed of 1.5 seconds per hit to 1.7 seconds per hit. So they say that we like that the Royal Giant is strong and relatively easy to use offensive option, however he's too strong right now. This change will allow him to stay relevant but make him a bit easier to deal with. Additionally, his first attack will happen a bit slower. So as you guys may know, I main Royal Giant um, in tournaments, you know, I'm not that much of a dick to play him in, in ladder mode because I don't want to strike fear in uh, everybody's hearts, okay? I, I'm a nice, peaceful soul. But, um, that's the thing, Royal Giants in ladder mode, it's so easy to overlevel him. That's the main thing about Royal Giants. Uh, level 9 Royal Giant, it's not that scary. A level 13, a level 15 Royal Giant, a level 17 Royal Giant, bruh, uh, I'm gonna pee in my pants, like, this quick. So, um, basically, I feel like this nerf was needed, but not in tournament mode, but you can't really, really fix it in that way i really wanted the royal giant to switch into a rare um and then they refund all the cards and give you back gold but um i don't know that might be too complicated because rares are hard to level up uh compared to commons but right now royal giant is definitely will be still relevant inside um ladder but in tournaments royal giant would be pretty much dead. I cannot use him anymore. Um, Rip Royal Giant. I don't think he'll be viable at all anymore. And before he was already pretty bad. So right now, bro, he, he's like a fucking uh, punching bag. Like legit. Um, he really doesn't have anything good. Oh wait, <laughs> this replay <laughs> adverse against someone who was AFK. Hashtag win trading. Plus. But let's check out a, a replay with the lumberjack because I just got buffed. And we'll talk about him earlier. Um, later, but um, next thing to list is that zap stun duration decreased to 0 0.5 seconds from one second. Um, I sort of want to zap to be decreased to 0 0.8 seconds, but now that the update actually came out, I realized that um, zap really is overpowered. I mean, everyone has it, and it still has the core mechanics, it's just that it doesn't stun for that long, so that your mini P.E.K.K.A usually won't get one extra shot, and maybe like, it won't change uh, battles and uh, stuff that much anymore, so I think that's really good, Zap will be still used, but I think it's, this is a good change. Um, the main thing about this thing is that now you can't do quick drop Zap and Virus Spirit to take out 3 Musketeers and so on. And the third thing, which I hate the most about this update is princess area damage radius decreased by 25%. We like to make the princess slightly less reliable by clearing up everything in the vicinity of her target. So for this, it sounds good, right? In practicality and on paper, but in the actual game, they didn't make it so that the princess targets, um, targets and stuff. Sort of like the mortar, it's gonna target where the troop was like by the time it loads up its animation so um uh once the princess loads its animation the goblins are say like at like the bridge 
but once a princess hits, the goblins are gonna be at your tower. So um, the princess fire uh, the attack, it won't hit all of the goblins, and it won't hit like all of these fast troops. So now princess doesn't target hogs, and it won't target spawners, and like it won't hit fire spirits, like goblins, those kind of things. And I think that um, like this change is good. Princess was too good at clearing up everything, but now they made it so that she can't really target anything that good anymore. So. They should really uh, make it so that the princess, its AI is better, so that it targets um, things where it's gonna be, so like, it knows that the goblins are gonna be, uh, like, in front two tiles extra, right? So then, it'll target two tiles in front of the goblins, because by the time it hits, the goblins are gonna be right there. So, I think the princess should do something like that, but right now, um, from this update, the princess actually might be unplayable. Um, it actually gets killed by goblin huts now, so that's really bad for the princess. And the uh, fourth thing, the ice wizard hit points increase by 5%. Uh, I have the ice wizard, and even though he's my bae, he's my uh, fucking freezing Harry Potter, um, I feel like this uh, nerf was needed just because he was too tanky. Nothing too bad, but yeah, I think that was needed. Minor deploy time increased to 1 second um, from 0 0.7 seconds, and hit points decreased by 6%. So if you guys didn't know, uh, Miner had an unintentional deploy time change from 1 second to 0 0.7 seconds. He just decided to, you know, like, fucking, like, uh, Jimmy in the office just decided to fat finger something. And then he accidentally changed the uh, um, deploy time. And by doing that, he pretty much gave Miner uh, a pretty significant buff in reaction time. You know, like, uh, that gives, that lets people who spend money get in advantage you know huh not like supercell is a sour sellout or anything you know uh supercell sell confirmed but um they finally fixed this and every other card in the game i think is well most of the cards in the game is uh has a deploy time one second and a decrease hit points by six percent and even though that seems like they're reverting the card back to pre um pre like they're reverting the card back to when it was released because they gave it a hit point increase of 6%. But in a net change, because when you increase a card's hit points by 6% and then decrease it by 6%, it actually loses um, hit points. So if you guys didn't know, um, like say if you have uh, 100 bananas and increase it by 6%, so you have 106 bananas and then decrease it by 6%, you're going to have less than 100 bananas at the end. So... This is actually a net decrease, and that's really good because back in the day, people just didn't know how the how good the minor fuckboy is. Like, god damn it, I hate him so much, and I'm so glad he's gone. But um, now the baby dragon hit speed increased to 1.6 seconds from 1.8 seconds, and I don't think that's enough. But it's really good because baby dragon's main problem was that it couldn't target everything fast enough, so that's definitely good. But baby dragon uh, isn't enough. Uh, because he's not the best for uh, elixir option as a splash, but he is a tank and he is flying, so he definitely is unique. And I hope that he becomes part of the meta. Dark Prince damage increased by 7.5%. Dark Prince is shit in defense. Like the only thing he's good at is like uh, he fucking charges in into the enemy tower. Like he's not good at defense. So this will hopefully make him good on defense and actually do some damage to say like barbarians and so on. Bowler. Elixir cost decreased to 5 from 6. Hit points decreased by 7%, damage decreased by 10%. So basically they reworked him. Basically it's the same like damage and stuff per um, elixir ratio, but they made him 5 elixir for increased versatility. And the main thing about the card, the uh, knockback isn't changed, so this is definitely a huge buff. Bowler, if you guys didn't check already, um, <laughs> insert plug here, <coughs> um, check out my video, like it, subscribe, comment, but um, uh, my last video was about tournaments, and the guy who won it, the first place and fourth place, was running a bowler deck, and a guy who was gonna be like uh, eighth place, but I mean second place, but then he lost at the end. He was also running a bowler deck, so there are three people in top ten running bowler decks, and bowler is really good. But now he's gonna be insane, like he's gonna be Ebola, guys. <laughs> but um, so. This guy's gonna be insane. You guys gonna watch out for him. He's definitely gonna be part of the meta. And Lumberjack! Lumberjack is fucking Lumberjacked now. 
Like, he's like the typical fucking alcoholic who fucking takes steroids and thinks he's the shit at the gym. Like, he's that guy. Um, <laughs> probably takes pre-workout. So, like, um, uh, but Lumberjack, goddamn, he's so good now. He hits so fast, and he's pretty much like a mini P.E.K.K.A. exactly, sort of, but faster. And it's really good for Lumberjack, but right now, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a bit too good. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely a, a needed buff. Just because the lumberjack wasn't firing that well before the update, and it was sort of like a gimmicky troop, so hopefully this helps out. The ball cast time decreased by 66%, travel speed increased by 20%. So do you think this is a buff? I actually think it's a nerf, because beforehand, um, the law you can catch like fire spirits and goblins is like gotcha, bitch, but like now you can't, and you can't surprise these motherfuckers out here, you know? So like. It's too fast, actually, and that might be good, sort of like this app, but I don't think that's good. And they, they're hinting that they might make it uh, possible that you push back everything uh, in the next update, but I think that's well needed. This update, I think, for the log is actually nerfed. So Golem hit and death damage increased by 5%, blah, 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 blah. Basically, Golemite, Golem, hit points increased, that hit and death damage increased by a bit. So, yeah, Golem wasn't that scene in the meta recently and I feel like yeah compared to a giant it really needs a buff especially in health points because it dies way too quickly compared to a giant for its elixir so yeah I use a golem and I mean like it's made out of fucking stone um sort of my sort of like my dick but um uh, I'm glad that that's gonna happen P.E.K.K.A damage increased by 5% yeah similar to a golem P.E.K.K.A could be ramped up a bit uh and now it can take out Ice Prisoner in one hit, just like BAM! Bada boom ba boop! So, Tombstone spawn, spawn speed increased to 2.5 seconds from 2.9 seconds. So, I think this is definitely good, uh, mainly because, um, you know, Tombstone wasn't that big in the meta. I've been experimenting with him earlier, and sort of like guards, but yeah, this will make it so that he distracts more stuff. And really, I also have in my golem deck. If you guys want to see, I can make a sort of like a deck spotlight for it later on. Tell me in the comments down below if you want to see a, a golem tombstone deck. So spooky. And archers and prince damage increased by 2% for um, inconsistency where they couldn't uh, do the same thing to certain troops at certain levels. Like prince couldn't uh, one shot barbarians with a charge shot at level 13. So basically, that's update and that's my thoughts on it. Um, the legendaries are getting fucked. Huge respect to Supercell for doing that. I mean, that might decrease their revenue pool. I don't know, but the legendaries, um, <laughs> they're getting wrecked to the underworld. But anyways, guys, uh, this balance update was really needed, but they could have fixed more stuff. Maybe like the giant dudes and the, um, the spooky army. But anyways, guys, tell me what you guys think about the new balance changes in the comments down below. And... <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell is happening in the clan right here? August, you stupid fuck. Yeah, leader, don't leave. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next update. Peace out.